hello good day in this video i will showcase how to use generative ai that is a type of an artificial intelligence generative artificial intelligence to have conversation chat on your website first of all go into the account where the google account is provisioned if it is not provisioned you need to set up the billing on the account i am mentioning this url in the description once you've registered on this domain you can directly go into the hamburger on the upper left corner scroll down you would find a more option show more option scroll down further till you find generative ai option generative app builder generative app builder allows you to experience the generative ai on the cloud seamlessly integrating it with your website there are three major steps that you need to accomplish those are going to the app section click on the new app once you've clicked on the new app then you select the type of application you want to make whether it is a search engine that you want to make or you want to have a conversation chat api so for this tutorial i am showcasing chat api which is a conversation api let's enable dialog flow dialog flow assists in having the integration done with your website so we will give the company name let's say test case 1 this agent name will appear on the chat box so we can mention it as sudhanshu let the region be global and click on continue after this configuration the third step is to set up the data source to set up the data store we will click on create new data store now there are four options available here the best option is to select the website url what this does is it selects the website from which the chat conversation will happen let's say i have a website on which the google workspace editions are listed let me show it to you nandavard consultancy services this is my website now all the services mentioned on this website client will be able to have the conversation with this data or the information let's say the price over here is 274 now if the customer wants to know what is the price of the starter edition he can ask how what is the price of starter edition and the response will be 274 let me show it to you how it works first of all now i am selecting the data source i am selecting website as my data source sites to include that is my this site i can exclude the http part and i can exclude the last front slash as well there is nothing to be excluded now that i have mentioned the data store i should give it a name okay creating the data store at this point in time now we are back on to the previous three steps the third step is to select the data source that we have created for this conversation and click on create it takes approximately 30 minutes or approximately 15 minutes for this data source to become valid and make it functional you have successfully created the data store after creating the data store now we will create the application let me show it to you how it works now this functionality over here gen app builder is based on the generative ai application of generative ai that is artificial intelligence once you've created the data source and application you would be required to have the configuration done with the configuration i mean to say the dialog flow that we enabled initially the api will give you the source code that you want to put on your wordpress website or html website waiting for the data source to be created 
along with the application it takes a little while because it has to read all the data stored in the website so even if it used it was to have sub pages it will read all the data on this page along with the sub pages and the pdf files also attached along with this page for the purpose of understanding we will run the query google workspace starter edition pricing going back to the generative ai people generally ask what is duet ai duet ai is the help me write feature which gives the description or the type of response the user expects after putting their information or questionnaire into the prompt still waiting for the configuration to complete okay you have successfully created an app now that the app is provisioned we will click on the app verify this in the search store you need to verify the ownership of the in order to give the indexing process okay so you need to verify this because you cannot be running a search console or running a conversation chat based on the data of some external website let's say a website which is of somebody else now if somebody else it could be some xyz.com and we do not want to populate that data into our conversation chat of our website so we will not generate the support from that console now for the purpose of understanding we can see that this here needs the verification of the console with the website so we will go on to this console that is search.google.com forward slash master and from here we can go on to the property name that is nandiyavarth consultancy services dot com and add the property now i will show you another account where this is already provisioned let's go to the url that is search dot google dot com forward slash web master or we can simply go to the url google dot com forward slash web master once you are on this console you need to click on get started once you are there click on search console here i have the nandiyavarth consultancy services website registered once we have registered on this website then we can use it in the cloud console of generative ai let me show it to you we will again go to the generative app builder here i already have the apps provision which are validated to use the websites listed so this time i will go into the search console which is implemented on my website now the purpose is to show you the dialog flow from where you can fetch the html code plus javascript code you need to go into the integration section from the integration section mention the domain name where you want to use it let's say it.nandavar.in in this scenario you can copy this code this is the javascript html code that you need to copy and paste it on it to your page once you've pasted it on to your page this is how something it will look like it.nandavarth.in on the bottom right hand side the code appears and this is how the code will function tell me pricing of google workspace starter edition waiting for the search results to come here are the results 
and the source from where it is fetching the data is also mentioned now i have mentioned two three sources one of the sources this page which i have put it as a data source another question could be where is your office and this is the office location that is SCO 2445 sector 22C Chandigarh again you can see where the data is coming from let me show it to you right by right clicking how the code has been embedded which I just copied from the cloud console of generative AI just a moment I think it is mentioned at the bottom of the page let me figure it out right here it is here is the course code that I just copied from the console okay so this is how it looks like this is how it functions so Dhanshu is the name of the agent we had given in the console and this is how generative conversation works further you can also explore the search functionality which gives the result from the listed websites in the console let's say price of G Suite Again, this is giving the result from the websites listed on the console. Right. That is all I wanted to convey. Have a good day. Bye-bye.